The United States Embassy in Belize, through the Central American Regional Security Initiative Economic Support Fund, CARSI ESF, handed over a total of one million U.S. dollars in grant funding to five organizations that are making an impact across the country. Among the recipients are Belize Heroes, an organization dedicated to Belize's critical firefighting and rescue needs. Colin Gillett, the fire chief at the National Fire Service, was on hand as a representative of Belize Heroes to receive a 200,000 US dollar check. On behalf of the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Climate Change and Disaster Risk Management, the Minister, CEO, we would like to say thanks so much again for uh, seeing the vision that we have for the National Fire Service and for the work being done by Belize Heroes through Mr. Archibald McFarlane, who the brainchild is this, and he's been so great in getting all the, hitting all the points, hitting all the tasks, hitting all the goals that we need to get to. Um, two years ago when we started, we had no ambulance service, we had no trained firefighters in EMS. Today we have more than 50 firefighters and all the communities around the Cayo district have been trained in becoming their own first responders, um, in getting basic uh, first aid, um, knowing when to call, um, and what this project, what this, these funds do is attract more from all over. Darla Bowman is the executive director of Building People Movement. Through CAR CSF, her organization received 175,000 US dollars in funding. We are a CAR C Proud Award winner with our project, Educating the Workforce for Change through becoming gender-based gender -based prevention advocates of gender-based violence. When we speak of gender-based violence, we are speaking to the issue of domestic violence, sexual assault, sexual harassment, and addressing related corruption and improved and expanded human services. Gender-based violence continues in our country and the responses to these incidents are often limited, underscoring the urgent need for more and better quality services for survivors of all forms of gender-based violence throughout the country of Belize. Since 2015, Red International has been conducting operations in Belize City, Cayo and Sand Creek districts to improve the lives of at-risk youths and migrant families seeking asylum in Belize. To date, they have executed nine projects that have directly impacted close to 5,000 individuals, with the majority being women and children. Sherise Ferguson, the country director at RET International, was present to receive a 200,000 U.S. dollar grant. RET International's presence in Belize spans eight years, and over that period, RET can boast successful implementation of about 10 projects focused on gender equality and in social inclusion, youth empowerment, self-reliance and livelihoods, education, migration and mobility, and recently on human trafficking. RET's focus on human trafficking commenced in 2021 when we were awarded a grant from the U.S. State Department Office, of Monitor and, Office to Monitor and Combat Trafficking in Persons to implement the Safe Belize Project, through which we are actively working to strengthen GOB, CSO um, coordination, have developed a model standard operating procedure for shelter staff. U.S. Ambassador to Belize Michelle Kwan says that she is deeply moved by the work all five organizations are doing across Belize. And though the sums granted are significant, she says she hopes the checks can become even larger. It means so much. Uh, the Central America Regional Security Initiative, um, ESF, Economic Support Fund, is just so important. Um, there has been over $10 million uh, in total, U.S. dollars, given to these organizations. And you heard the testimony of these five organizations doing incredible work in countering trafficking in persons, uh, gender-based violence, um, delivery services like the Belize Heroes, um, really equipping the firefighters with the training and services and to support um, civil society in, in Belize. So I, I'm deeply moved and just inspired, and you're giving them the platform to raise awareness of what they're doing. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.